Well, here YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org, we got an Acer Aspire motherboard A514 or A515-56. Markings on the motherboard are FH5AT. Looks something like that. The client states that the connector is faulty. We have a replacement connector in stock. We also sell them from the link below. And I will show you how to replace this connector on the motherboard. If you want, you could send us just the motherboard or you can send us the whole laptop. The rates are above right here, how much it's going to cost you to fix it. And basically, let me show you how we're going to fix it here. So first thing, we insulate the connector around the, the motherboard around the connector. Because what we want to do is we're going to use the hot air to drop this connector off from the motherboard. One other thing to keep in mind, the highest complaint you get, the biggest number one complaint you get from the fixing this uh, motherboard is when the clients get it back, they tell us it still doesn't work. The reason it still doesn't work is uh, this particular laptop, this particular motherboard is meant to work only with one particular um, AC adapter. Those AC adapters are not for sale anywhere except uh, Acer itself. There are some aftermarket stuff that fits. But there are a lot of stuff that fits in here, but doesn't work because that tiny pin is so tiny. Those aftermarket adapters, they don't grab onto that pin that much. And people always blame us that uh, we sent you the laptop for repair. We replaced the connector. We got the laptop back and it still has a bad contact. And we have a brand new power supply, which is an aftermarket power supply, which they got from China for five bucks. And they blame us, even though the connectors are brand new. We, we put brand new connectors. As you can see right here, it's a brand, brand, brand new connector. It's not been, we got a couple hundred of this particular connector in stock. So the connector, we're going to put brand new. If for some reason it still doesn't give you the perfect connection, it's probably because the tip of your cord is not perfectly compatible or you need a brand new power supply, which are 10 bucks on pretty much everywhere you could buy it. I'm not going to mention the vendors, but, um, yeah, so the, the way to remove this properly is you want to put some flux right here. Then you're going to put some solder right there. And then you're going to use the hot air to drop this connector from the motherboard. Let me show you how it's going to be done. Alrighty, so what we do here is we're going to add some flux here, here, right there and right there. Alright. Added some flux. Let's add some leaded by solder to mix the like that like that we're gonna mix the the silver base solder with the leaded base solder like that like that like that like that like that all right good job and then we're gonna All right, we're gonna flip this guy over. Uh, now we're just gonna add some solder to the top. Okay. A little bit solder to the bottom. All right. Looks good to me. All right, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna position the hot air to blow. Uh, we're gonna put 300 I would say 30 degrees. Let's power up. All right. And at the same time, let's let's try and add some heat using the soldering iron. Now, 330 degrees might not be enough.
we might need more than that. Yeah, that's not enough. Let's let's raise it to three fifty. All right, 350 is not enough. 360 should usually do the job. You see it's starting to move. fell off by itself all right next thing what we want to do is reduce the temperature down to like 300 or so I'll raise up that uh, raise up this guy a little bit higher and let's drag all of the all of the solder from the holes Right, that's good. That's good. Wonderful. Shut down the hot air to cool down. Let's inspect everything underneath the microscope. The top left doesn't seem like perfectly. Yeah, you see, there is a piece right here left. Right here. That's not not exactly what we want to do here let's try and get that piece out of there how are we gonna get this thing i mean you can't see it with the naked eye i mean unless you're really nice and unless you're really young like I to say uh, but All right, looks good. Yeah, the new connector should fit in just fine. Looks good to me. All right, so this is a brand new connector right here. Brand new, all right. Don't want anyone to accuse me that I'm not putting brand new connectors inside. We're going to put it in like that. But you know what, before we're going to do so, let's remove all of the insulation, because we don't need the insulation anymore. Alright, so I put some flux on top of the motherboard. Uh, we're going to put some... Alright, like that. And let's... I think this is the right way, right? Hopefully this is the top side. I hope. Seriously. Um, even though this one is on the bottom. Right there. This looks like a top to me. Well, if it's, if it's the wrong way. Again, I will look at the video to see which way is the right way. Sometimes uh, I, I do put the connectors upside down. I mean, it's going to work, but it's probably not going to fit the casing. Anyways, <laughs> anything could happen again. Uh, once I stop recording the video, I will double check that this was the right way up. 
when it's your 10th motherboard of the day, you kind of forget to mark the... Yeah, all right, looks good. Right, you know what, I just need to add a little bit more flux, because without flux, this whole thing doesn't want to work well. Alright, looks good. Alright, and that's how you replace the power connector on the motherboard. And hopefully that's the right way. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I will have to stop the video and look at the video and see if that was the right way up. If it's not the right way up, well, I will have to remove this connector and put a new connector in place. Again, I got a whole bunch. Of, I, I do it all day, every day, so... It's really no big deal. All right, looks something like that. Looks excellent. Let's see a little bit more cleaning on this side. Let's see right here. How's the back? You see how the positive pin is soldered through just fine. All right. All right, excellent. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Well, you know what, let's test to see if the connector is conducting the electricity. Alrighty. Yeah, looks good. I might go and check and see if I have a power supply like that, but I don't. I usually don't have anything like that. Um... Because it's only made for this particular system. I've never seen this connector anywhere else besides those guys. Here, you know, probably something like that. You see, I have one of the smaller ones. But you see, this one has a much thicker hole. That thicker hole will probably work on this thing. But, uh, and that's what probably people are going to sell you. Yeah, you see, it goes in just fine. Let's see if the current goes all over the motherboard minus is fine positive is fine and positive goes someplace let's see if we have a positive here someplace yeah but either way this is not the right uh, tip even though it does work for this laptop all right and that's our number one complaint basically Okay, so that's the positive. All right. All right. I want to test it under voltage and see if the voltage is going through. All right. Let's see how far does the current go. This is relatively compatible. Relatively compatible. We get 19 volts here, we get 19 volts there. And let's see if we're gonna get the 19 volts right here. Not 19, there should be like 3 or so volts. And we're not getting anything. Strange. Let's see. No, we do get something. We get the three volts there. All right. Strange, we should usually see something there as well.
All right. So anyways, the current goes through and I consider this a job well done. Assuming people have the right plug. Again, this is, has a huge hole right there. This is not the right plug. It's still gonna, not gonna make a good solid contact. And uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.